The color of money runs deeper than the obvious. With one look, our money is green, or red, violet, orange, yellow, or blue. As we look closer, it changes into many different shades. As painted by the countless stories it has become a part of. Our history, heroes, values, our daily life, the pursuit of happiness, and dreams fulfilled. Indeed, the color of our money is the story, the pulse of our people. And as we evolve as a people, so does the color of our money. The Filipinos first used paper currency in the mid-19th century, while under Spanish rule. With the establishment of the Central Bank of the Philippines in 1949, great Filipinos appeared for the first time on our banknotes, the English series. As our country progressed, our money continued its transformation. This time, it highlighted design elements that affirmed our independence. In the 60s, the English words on the notes were translated into the national language. Called the Filipino series, the banknotes featured key events and places in our history. In the 70s, to echo the government's new society program, the phrase Ang Bagong Lipunan was stamped on the new bills. Our banknotes began to be printed in the newly built security plant complex of the Central Bank. The new design series was launched after the People Power Revolution in 1986. This included the 500 peso banknote with the image of Senator Benigno Aquino Jr. and the 1,000 peso, which featured three Philippine wartime heroes. When the Banco Central ng Pilipinas was created in 1993 as the country's central monetary authority, its new logo was incorporated in all the banknote denominations. By the new millennium, the security features of the banknotes had been enhanced and the type of banknote paper upgraded with a shift from cotton linen to cotton with Philippine abaca. Thorough planning and deliberation starts the process of making money available to the public. First, the Banco Central's Department of Economic Research determines currency demand based on the expected price movement as well as the growth of our population and the economy. After this, the cash department places the order with the security plant complex, which in turn procures the materials needed to produce and print the banknotes. When the designs of banknotes are changed, final approval of the President of the Republic is required. From the approved design, a prototype banknote is prepared. The banknote image is then etched on a master die from which printing plates are produced. Meanwhile, ink experts mix the exact colors of the money. With the ink and plates readied, printing begins on special security paper that is composed of 80% cotton and 20% Philippine abaca. This combination gives it a distinctive texture that sets it apart from ordinary paper. The sheets of banknote paper go through offset printing, where 15 to 20 colors of the design are printed at a time. Next, the paper goes through the intaglio printing process, which gives the money its embossed look and feel. Raised ink from intaglio printing requires drying for several days. After this, the banknote sheets are submitted for a series of inspections. The serial numbers are then printed on each banknote, which are again subjected to thorough inspection. The sheets are then cut and packed into bundles of 1,000 pieces each. These are now delivered by the security plant to the currency management group from where banks exchange or withdraw their currency requirements. From the banks, the banknotes finally find their way into the economy and our wallets. There is one question that is repeatedly asked of the Banco Central. Given our ability to print money, why can't we just print a lot of money? 
As a matter of policy, prudent central banks such as the Banco Central print only the amount of money projected to be sufficient to promote stable movement of consumer prices conducive to balanced and sustainable economic growth. Printing a lot more money than the economy needs is bad policy because it will lead to higher consumer prices and lower buying power for the family. This is the bedrock of price stability, the responsibility of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Referring to money as currency illustrates how it is always current, dynamic, flowing from one hand to the other. Masterfully designed, our new banknotes pay tribute to great Filipinos who played significant roles at crucial moments in our nation's history. The reverse side features iconic natural wonders we are proud of as Filipinos, covering Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The new generation Philippine banknotes. The new 20 peso honors President Manuel L. Quezon, the first elected Philippine president who advocated the adoption of a national language and worked tirelessly to gain back Philippine independence. On the reverse is the image of the breathtaking Banaue rice terraces, which have been declared a World Heritage Site. It also features the palm civets from the Cordilleras that produce one of the best coffee varieties in the world, the Alamid coffee. The 50 peso commemorates President Sergio Osmeña, who led our country during the critical stage at the end of World War II, as well as our transition to an independent nation. On the reverse is the Ta'al Lake, home of the world's smallest active volcano, and the Maliputo fish that is unique to the place. The 100 peso pays tribute to President Manuel Rojas, who prioritized the crafting of a central bank charter and provided the leadership for the reconstruction of our country from the devastation of the Second World War. Also featured are the near-perfect cone-shaped Mayon volcano and the Butanding, or whale shark, the largest living fish species in the world today. The 200 peso is a salute to President Josdado Macapagal, who started land reform and restored the celebration of Philippine independence to June 12. Other highlights are the unique icons of Bohol, the Chocolate Hills, and the Tarsier. The 500 Piso celebrates the champions of Philippine democracy, Senator Benigno Aquino Jr., who stood up against martial law, and President Corazon Aquino, our first woman president, who restored democracy after the historic and peaceful People Power Revolution. The reverse features the 8-kilometer Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, declared in 1999 as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the Blue Nape Parrot. Finally, the new 1,000 Piso honors our war heroes. Chief Justice Jose Abad Santos, who was martyred for refusing to cooperate with Japanese forces, Girl Scouts of the Philippines founder Josefa Llanes Escoda, educator, advocate of women's suffrage, and civic leader who showed extraordinary courage by helping prisoners of war. Brigadier General Vicente P. Lim, the first Filipino West Point graduate who directed guerrilla activities even from his hospital bed. Other features are the Tubataha Reef National Marine Park, declared by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 1993, and the world-famous South Sea Pearl. Distinct indigenous weave designs that celebrate the creativity and excellent craftsmanship of Filipinos complete the national symbols feature 
in our new banknotes. Every peso, every note, is a testament to our hard work. That is why we've taken great measures to make sure the money we use is genuine. Our banknote underscores the need to be current in the use of new technology to enhance our banknote security features and to remain steps ahead of counterfeiters. At all times, we must protect the integrity of our currency. This is the reason why we have developed new designs and upgraded the security features of all our banknotes. The New Generation Philippine Banknotes they incorporate the latest available technology in banknote security. Feel the note. It is not smooth, but a bit rough to the touch. Cotton and Philippine abaca gives the banknote paper a certain roughness. In addition, the raised prints or embossing from the intaglio printing process gives the money a distinct tactile feel. Observe closely. The serial numbers are composed of one or two prefix letters and six to seven digits in asymmetric or increasing size. Red and blue fibers embedded in the banknote paper glow under ultraviolet light. The watermark shows a shadow image of the portrait and the banknote's denomination on the blank space when viewed against the light from either side of the note. The word Filipino written in our ancient Baybayin alphabet, can be seen in its complete form when the banknote is viewed against the light. When the banknote is rotated at 45 degrees and tilted downwards, we can see the concealed denominational value superimposed on the smaller version of the portrait. Viewed against the light, both the 20 piso and the 50 piso notes have an embedded 2 millimeter wide security thread that can be seen when the banknote is held against the light. A 4 mm wide stitch-like metallic security thread is in the 100, 200, 500, and the 1,000 piece of notes. Viewed from different angles, its color changes from red to green. The front of the thread carries in clear text the initials of the BSP together with the note's numeric denomination in repeated series. Likewise, the back of the thread is printed with the initials BSP, also in repeated series. The 500 and 1000 piece of banknotes now have the optically variable device patch, a reflective foil. For the 500 piso, the OVD patch bears the image of a small BSP logo and the blue nape parrot, while the 1000 piso carries a small BSP logo and the South Sea Pearl inside a clamp. The patches change color from red to green when the note is rotated 90 degrees. A security feature exclusive to the 1000 piso note is the optically variable ink for the embossed denominational value on the lower right corner of the face of the note. It changes color from green to blue when viewed at different angles. All these security features are in our banknotes to make it difficult for counterfeiters to copy but easier for our public to identify what is genuine and what is not. Take some time to get to know the security features of our money. Our new banknotes, a combination of the familiar and the new. They celebrate the values we aspire for, our creativity and heroism as a nation, and our God-given natural wonders. Our money, the new generation Philippine banknotes, national symbols that make us proud to be Filipinos.